can't believe that you think this lady is a, a smuggler. Well, if those old fools don't care much about their own lives, let's see how they feel about their granddaughters. on the plane. Now, don't tell me you're starting to forget things. You know what they say. The first thing to go is your memory. <laughs> well, that's all right, as long as the rest remains intact. <laughs> Honey, you go to customs and try to get a cab. I'll be with you in a minute all or two. Right. Think of us. We're in Roma. <laughs> you bet. Oh, oh excuse me. Uh, Here we are. Anything to declare, sir? Well, not unless you consider these contraband. <laughs> these on your car just for a few minutes to see.
I got a call from the American Embassy this morning, here in Rome. It seems that a Virginia bird was arrested at the airport carrying $500,000 worth of diamonds in the lining of her makeup case. So? She also happens to be 82 years old. She and her husband are here in Europe celebrating their 50th wedding anniversary. They're celebrating by smuggling diamonds? That's just the point. She swears up and down that she didn't know she was carrying. Well, it happens all the time, Henry. The smuggler picks the most innocent person he can find and sets him up as a mule. That's what we believe. But the Italian authorities, they're not convinced. Aha. Uh -huh. So you want us to convince them? Got that right. Cheers. <laughs> Thank you for all your help in this. Captain, she's an old woman. This report is inconclusive. Totally. Signorina, I am not without sympathy. <laughs> Virginia! Oh, oh, thank God! Graham! Are you okay? Oh. Oh. Uh, tell your granddaughter you're okay. Tell her. Who? <laughs> she uh, has these little lapses of memory. She's 82 years old. I'm Danielle Reynolds. Ashley does some modeling for me. Oh, who is this hunk? Um, my name's Mac Harper. How are you doing? I work with your granddaughter. Uh, lucky girl. Oh, oh, oh. Captain, with all due respect, I can't believe that you think this lady is a, a smuggler. I think it's pretty obvious that somebody set her up. Uh, you may well be right. But she won't talk to us. Well, of course she I... won't talk to you. You're trying to pin a smuggling rap on her. Look. If you release Mrs. Bird to her granddaughter's custody, I'm sure that once she calms down and her bearings, she'll be willing to cooperate. Please. Signorina. Oh, grazie, Melanie. Stay molto gentile. I think I know. That means yes. I can't thank you enough. That was pretty nifty footwork in there. It's Rico. It is. Hey, Rico. Mrs. Bird. 
How are you? Fine. How's by you? Oh, fine, fine. Thanks. So good to see you. Who's what that? The we had a little trouble, but everything is dandy now. Oh. I am glad. I am very glad. And who is this beautiful friend? Oh, this, this, this is our, our granddaughter, Ashley. Hello? Uh, Rico was our guide in Marseille. What is our guide from Marseille doing in Rome? Real good question. Looking for some diamonds, maybe? <laughs> Hello. Piacere, signorina. Mm. <laughs> you didn't tell me you had such a beautiful granddaughter. You didn't ask. Uh, and she is a model. And oh. Danny Reynolds over there is one of the world's famous photographers. Thank oh. God. If it weren't for her, I'd still be in jail. Listen, ma'am, I have my car. Do you need a car? I have nothing to do. Uh, we don't need a car, thanks. We're covered. But we're at the piazza. Come on over and see us. Well, I will. The piazza, huh? Uh, how about a family portrait for Ashley's scrapbook? Uh, the piazza, eh? Mm. I will call you guys later. Uh, Ciao. Care. Arrivederci. We can't thank you enough for getting me out of that place. And the food was god-awful. You don't have to thank us. But you know what would help? If you can tell us anything you know about anyone who had access to your luggage. Well, uh, She see. doesn't know anything. Oh? Do you? Well, I wouldn't uh, endanger her at all by pointing my finger at someone. Well, my friends will help you. That's what they're here for. Well, it's just not worth the risk. Haven't they done enough? My husband is very eloquent when he's angry. Virginia and Graham have been through an awful lot. I mean, if the diamonds were stolen, aren't they entitled to a reward or something? Mac, there is no reward, not as yet. The insurance companies haven't come forward, and as far as the diamonds, we haven't even established that they've been stolen. Uh, you gentlemen uh, have things to discuss. Ladies, excuse us, please. Oh, yes. Uh, it's time for our constitutional. Yeah. <laughs> Arrivederci. Goodbye. Do you believe those two? You know those stones that they found in your makeup case? The tip of the iceberg. You mean there are more? And I've got them stashed. Why didn't you turn them over to the police? Well, if the crooks did not know where the stones were, and we did know where they were, it would act like an insurance policy, and nobody, nobody would hurt us then. Well, it seems to me like everyone is using us, and we're going to have to not trust anyone but ourselves. Why is Rico still hanging around when the diamonds have been confiscated? Well, this sounds kind of grim, but if Rico is our man, maybe he's planning on killing them so they can't identify him. No. Or could it be they're all in this together? Or could it be that there's more to this than we know? Rico! Hey, We've been uh, looking for you. Yeah, how you doing? All right. You look good, man. You too. The last one wants to see you. I don't give him a call late. Wait, wait. I'll call him later. Yeah, sure now. Well, well, now. faith in you, Rico. I give you trust, responsibility. I try to make you rich, yet you screwed up. It's not my fault. Then whose fault is it? Those two old fools. I mean, they look like the perfect mules. Who would have thought the old lady was going to get busted? You must have made a sloppy fill. No, no, the fill was perfect. I mean, the old man got through with most of the load in his suitcases. Then get the diamonds out of his suitcases. I tried. They weren't there. He must have found them. You're really screwed. 
screwing up, Rico. Really? Ralph, come here. Give me a gun. Hey, Alex, what are you going to do? Uh, Rico, I want those diamonds. And if you have to kill those nice old people to get them, that's going to be okay. And if you don't, I'll kill you and them. Okay, got it. Thanks. Rico de Salvo. Eight arrests, three convictions, extortion, petty robbery, breach of promise. A breach of promise? Well, we are in Italy. Point is, this guy is not a heavy-duty smuggler. That guy's an anchovy. Look, we use him for shark bait. What do you think? We hire him as our guide, and we can keep an eye on him. I'm here for that matter. Better yet, we can listen in on his phone calls, put a transmitter in his car, and let him take us to the big guy. <laughs> I like that. You're starting to think like me. Oh, I hope not. There they are. Fog. Uh, Graham. Virginia. Oh, hello there. We were wondering if you could tell us uh, how we could find Rico. Oh, we haven't seen him no. at all. Oh. <laughs> oh. Speaking of uh, What a coincidence, huh? <laughs> Rico, hey, how are you? Look, so can we hire you out for a day or so? Oh, no, you can't because he's already taken. Take no, 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 he's perfect for the fashion shoot. We need someone who really knows his way around the town. Really? Uh -huh. You'll make 200 a day. Huh? 200 a liter wouldn't even pay for my gas. Rico, uh, dollars, Rico, $200. Three. Ah, oh, don't, don't let her in on it. She goes crazy at auction. Besides, I'd rather work for these nice people. He already had dibs on him. Uh, now, look, let me, let me talk to you a minute. Let's talk. Uh, Virginia, you know that you were released in our custody. So uh, we don't want to... We don't want to worry about you, so... I had a thought. Got a car right over there, and the driver, wonderful guy, take you anywhere you want to go oh, all day. Oh, that sounds wonderful, doesn't it? Yes. Is that okay? You bet. Terrific. Rico, we have a deal. We start shooting in an hour. Okay? Okay. Va bene. Uh, could we go with you? We've never seen a real fashion show before. Sure, I'd love to have you. Oh, wonderful. See you in an hour. I'll, I'll stay with you, Rico, and get the girls. Good idea. Deal. Blush. Okay. Um, makeup. Go see the people there. Hey guys, let's get the license position Love. too. Hey, the other mirror. Hey, Rico. Hey, how you doing? Rico, andiamo, dai, subito. Thank you. Yeah. All right, it's time for a new tune on the box. Sorry, you see this telephone over here? Uh, I'd like you to watch. It's a very important call. Huh. This transmitter should work. All set, Danny. All right. Mr. Burke. Oh, Rico. Oh, Mrs. Burke. Rico. How are you? Smile. Nice to see you. <laughs> Why don't we take a little walk? I would like to talk to you. What a coincidence, young man. We have some interesting things to talk about. <laughs> um, what are you doing to me? What are you talking about, Sonny? <laughs> you know damn well what I'm talking about. The diamonds. You mean the ones that the customs people confiscated? Nope. I mean, all the ones they didn't. I know you have them. Can you prove that? Look, 
Why don't we make a deal? Huh? You turn the diamonds over to me, and I'll cut you in. Well, we were sort of both figuring that we'd turn the diamonds over to the authorities. And you see, the insurance company might make us a substantial reward. Could be 50 cents on the dollar. We're getting tired of being pushed around, Rico, aren't you? Oh, well. I told you something like this was going to happen. He is very predictable. Okay, ladies. Let's go. Yamo. Come on. Tell me where those diamonds are. Oh, I'm gonna blow your insides out. That sounds more like it, doesn't it? Yes, sir. Uh, Tell me something. Did you ever play poker? Poker? Yeah. No. I didn't think you did. You left your whole card in way too long. And here's something else you didn't realize, Sonny. My husband and I have both lived long, long lives. We don't know how much longer we have. Could be a month or a year, who knows? And so that's why we live the best we can every day. Right. If you want to live today, you better tell me. You better start talking to me. We are talking. Don't you hear me? Put that down. Didn't your mother teach you anything about how to address your elders? Rico, can't you see? I'm trying to help you. If you kill us, you are never going to find those diamonds. And you're liable to get killed yourself. We have nothing to lose. Put that away. Before we both drop dead of heart attacks. Grab, well, Virginia. Oh, hey, how are you? You just get here? Rico, I thought you were over by the phone. That's right, the phone, yeah. Rico? Did well, you see anything yet? Not yet. Uh, no. Come on, come on, we just started not very long ago. Oh, fine. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. I'll tell you what. I'm I'm come, move that, please. Okay. Try to get by. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alex, it's Rico. We have to talk a little business. Have the rest of the diamonds? Not yet. But uh, have access to them. We must talk. Be here in half an hour. Half an hour? I... I... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, big news. We say uh, we wrap the company and let Rico go on his way. He just contacted the boss. Sure. Yeah, some guy named Alex wanted to know if he'd found the rest of the diamonds. The rest of the... The rest of the diamonds? Yeah. Well, this makes much more sense. It certainly does. Yes. Yes. So... Lunch! <laughs>
you to stop by. How can you say that? It was nice work. Nice try, though. I think we ought to be a team, don't you? Tell me, what is this business you want to discuss? Well, they say they have the stones. And they want to turn them over to the authorities. So they can claim a reward with the insurance company. They want to what? They say that the insurance company will give them 50 cents on a dollar. And they're willing to split it with me. Are you absolutely out of your tiny little mind? Oh, no, relax, Alex. That's what they say. I'm reporting what they say. Now, what I say is, okay, I pretend to go along with the plans, right? I wait until they go and try to get the stones out of hiding. I'll knock them off, and then I bring the diamonds back to you. Mr. Velasco, he brought in a bug. He's followed. What? Who followed him? The model guy and the woman. Look what we found. Who are these people? Oh, uh, they check you out. Daniel Reynolds is a very famous photographer, and he working for her. With surveillance equipment like this, I don't like it. Rico, you're screwing up again. I don't like to warn people more than once. Teach them a little sense. Oh, Alex, come on, wait a minute. I gotta take you out. Okay, that's enough. Bring him here. People want to play cute. We'll show them cute. So what are you going to do to them, Alex? Well, if those old fools don't care much about their own lives, let's see how they feel about their granddaughters. Come on, Rico. Behind the tree. I know, but I'll move out. Come on, move to the right. Camera right. That's it. Okay. Now, can I turn your head a little bit? I like you're directing a photo shoot here. No, there. That's it. Got him. One? I'm perfect. Um, another one. Smile. Think he's listening to you? I hope not. That's, yeah. That's a wrap. Wrap the yeah, company. Sure. Doesn't Alexander Velasco. Huh. Who is Alexander Velasco? Well, for one thing, he's a fugitive from justice in the United States. He's wanted in connection with a drug smuggling operation that our agents broke up several months ago. He's also a suspect in four individual homicides. <laughs> he's our man. Not exactly, Daniel. We haven't got enough to nail him. What? The guy's a suspect in four murders and you don't have enough to nail him? The murder victims, Mac, were our witnesses in the smuggling case. Oh. Well, in that case, I'd say Graham and Virginia were pretty smart not to do it. Yeah, well, maybe they were smart there, but they were pretty dumb to keep the diamonds. So, after you figured out the diamonds were in the suitcases, you, uh, stashed them somewhere. Am I on the right track? I'd say you're doing great, kid. Graham figures they won't kill us if we know where the diamonds are and they don't. Yes, but you don't understand the kind of people you're working with. Why, Rico, my Graham could handle him single-handed. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe so, but the man he's working for, Alexander Belasco, is a suspect in four murders. We chew you people up like a couple of hors d'oeuvres. Graham, where did you put the diamonds? Graham, I think we can trust these people. Maybe we have carried this thing a little too far. Graham, I... I think we'd better tell them. All right. All right. I'll take you to the diamonds. This is 
straight. Hi, Rico. What's going on? Uh, listen, I'm sorry about this, Ashley. Sorry about what? Please, what are you doing? you were so beautiful, I would have taken you sooner. <laughs> All that and spirit too, eh? We're gonna get along just fine. <laughs> Rico, you finally did something right. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> got the girl. I really don't need you anymore. Oh, no, it's fine with me. Great. I'll just go back to Rome. No, 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 no. said they'd be in the airport locker. Some people will do for silly baubles. You could cry. I'm the stupid one that did them, too. I don't know what I'm going to do if any harm comes to that girl. Oh, honey, don't blame yourself. Well, who else am I going to blame? Graham. Hello? Someone here would like to speak with you. Hello? Ashley. Ashley, you all right? Please, do whatever he says. Now listen. Unless you want your granddaughter back in a dozen pieces, you'll do exactly as I tell you. Well, you just say where or when? One hour. On the steps at the end of Portobello Road. Now you send your wife alone to make the drop. If there are no problems, I'll tell you when you can find your granddaughter. But if anything goes wrong, you'll never see her again. These people have got to be taught a lesson. I don't want the old lady to leave the drop site alive. You're not gonna let me go, are you? No, 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 no. You live as long as it suits my purposes. Of course, you could make my purposes last for quite some time. <laughs> Portobello Row should be right about here. Uh -huh. yeah, uh, well, look, it's only about two miles from the villa. They'll probably send two guys over there. 
Okay, when they leave, we'll make our move. Supposing they leave some more there. I'm sure they will be. What no surprise when that'll work for us. Mm -hmm. All right, I'll make the drop. They said that I... No, no, it's okay. Mac and I work together. Don't worry about it. Henry, mm. we need a car that no one has seen before. All right. The ambassadors? No, no, you can't have oh, yes, that car. Yes, yes, absolutely. Danielle, it's a car. I mean, car. I don't Rose Why do I always you? argue with you? I'll be very careful.
black ones, I swear. remains is to clean up the mess. Eh? Nice meeting you. Mm. Oh, no. Oh. I told you. I told you this was going to happen. <laughs> Danielle, how am I going to explain this to the American ambassador to Italy? Huh? Uh, Henry. What? Don't think of something. Mm. No. no. He doesn't appreciate me, you know that? Oh, you're right. Anybody ever tell you you make a pretty sexy 82-year-old? Yeah. Why don't you tell me that one on 82? Oh, I will, I'm sure. Nice job, Mr. Harper. Not too bad yourself, Mrs. Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> going to do next? We're going to Switzerland. We thought we'd segue into security squad. <laughs> Don't you believe her? She's just kidding. We are going home thanks to you all. Ah. As for the uh, love of my life, happy anniversary. Darling. Henry have planned for that. A, sort of a, a finder's fee. The diamonds were stolen from a mining company in South Africa. The owners came through with a reward. Oh, where's my name? Oh, how beautiful. <laughs> now, that's <not> here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Yes, well. Surprise! You... Surprise! Surprise! <laughs> oh, how wonderful. Happy anniversary, <laughs> I tell you, even I wouldn't have enough wind to blow all of those candles out. Well, help. All right, now. One, two, three, blow! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, you know, my birthday's soon, and I, uh, I didn't really want you to worry about what you were going to buy me. 
Well, I was, uh... You can't go, dear. <laughs> Court appointments made by our next president will shape American law for a generation. This story tomorrow on CBS News Sunday morning. Tomorrow, two crucial divisional matchups will be featured in an NFL doubleheader on CBS Sports. See San Francisco take on the Los Angeles Rams or Washington against the New York Giants plus other regional action.